Hello students, welcome back to online classes of Abba Public School. I am your computer science teacher. So in the last class, what we have learned? Yes, we have learned about keyboard. That is fifth lesson. Okay. So we have learned about keyboard. I explained only about keyboard. Okay. So K E Y B O A R D keyboard and mouse. So today we will learn about mouse. Okay, keyboard and mouse. Yes. Just I will recall it. What we have learned about keyboard in the last class. We learned keyboard. Yes. What is keyboard? Yes, keyboard is a part of computer. What is the use of keyboard? What we, what we can do using the keyboard? Yes, using the keyboard, we can write on computer by pressing the keyboard keys. Yes. Fifth lesson, page number 38. Yes, we learned about keyboard and also we have learned different keys on keyboard. Yes, different keys on keyboard. Yes, alphabet keys. Alphabet keys. Next, we also learned special keys. And number keys. Yes, we learned alphabet keys, special keys, number keys. Yes, what is the use of alphabet keys? Yes, from A to Z, we have totally 26 alphabet keys. Okay, we have totally 26 alphabet keys. Using the alphabet keys, we can write letters. We can type letters. For example, if I want to type apple, ball, what we need? Yes, we need alphabet. Okay, so alphabet keys are available on the keyboard. So using the uh, alphabet keys, we can type letters. So next is special keys. Special keys, it means the key which has name, which has word on it. For example, backspace key, caps lock key, enter key. These are special keys. Okay, the key which has word on it. So those keys are called special keys. So next is number keys. What is the use of number keys? Yes, we have totally two set of number keys on keyboard. One is top side and one more is right side. So we have two set of number keys from zero to nine. Using the number keys, we can type numbers. Okay, numbers are used to calculate the any uh, subtraction, addition, okay? So number keys are used for uh, typing the numbers. Here, special keys. We have different special keys. I said enter key, backspace key, caps lock key. Space key will erase from left side, okay? So next is enter key. When we press the enter key, the cursor, here, cursor is no, nothing but when we start to type, we can see the vertical line. It will be blinking. That blinking line is called cursor. So when we press the enter key, the cursor will move to the next new line. Okay. So that is the use of enter key. So next is caps lock key. What is the use of caps lock key? Yes, using the caps lock key, we can type capital letters. For example, when, when you press the caps lock, the light will be appear. You can type only capital letters. So next, again you press the caps lock key, the, the light will be turned off. So next, when you press the letter keys, when you press the letter keys, so the letters will be uh, letters will be in the small letters okay in the lower letters it means the when the when we press the caps lock key that light will be turned on you can type only capital letters capital letters is nothing but uppercase uppercase letters 
so next when you press the caps lock key again the light will be turn off then you if you press the letter keys alphabet keys you can see only small letters lower case letters so we have learned all these type of special keys in the last class so today we will start with new concept that is mouse okay that is mouse yes mouse is also part of a computer so using the mouse we can move on the screen we can move on the screen here we use a mouse to point at and click on different things on the monitor okay using the mouse we can point it point is nothing but we can select we can drag and drop okay so we can do using all these uh, things using the mouse so next is a mouse usually has two buttons mouse usually has two buttons it has a wheel it has a wheel between two buttons Uh, as shown in figure 5.8 it has a wire that connects the mouse to the cabinet i will show you mouse yes what they said mouse has totally two buttons mouse has totally two button you can understand okay this is the left button this is the right button it has totally two buttons yes and it has also one wire this wire is connected to cpu box keep it in mind printer speaker keyboard all these devices are connected to cpu box and we can also call it as cabinet yes this wire is connected to cpu box and what are the uh, two buttons of key mouse it has totally two buttons left button right button and one more is scroll wheel it has scroll wheel you can understand okay so this is the mouse it has two buttons left button and right button with the middle okay with the middle scroll wheel and wire this is the mouse this wire is connected to connected to yes cabinet we can also call it as cpu box yes okay so the button on the left side of the mouse is called left button the button the button which has left side okay which has left side it is called left button okay it is a left side then it is called left button so next is the button on the right side of the mouse is called right button the button right side which has right side that is called okay this is the right button this is the left button this right button okay see this is the left button the right button which has left side that is called left button which has a right side that is the right button so next is the wheel between the two buttons the wheel between the two buttons is called scroll wheel yes it has a wheel it has a wheel you can see here okay it has wheel okay it has two buttons left button and right button in between the two but buttons it has wheel okay so this wheel is called scroll wheel okay this wheel is called scroll wheel yes what is the use of that scroll wheel it is used to move up and down on the screen when we move the scroll wheel when we move the scroll wheel yes okay this is the way how to move the scroll wheel yes when we move the scroll wheel we can move on the monitor screen up and down okay so keep it in mind when we move the mouse when we move the mouse we can see a small arrow on the monitor screen we can see the small arrow on the monitor screen it shows that where we on the monitor screen yes it will show that where we on the monitor screen 
so when we move the scroll wheel we can move up and down okay that is a use of scroll wheel they said here scrolling what is the meaning of scrolling scrolling is nothing but going up and down the computer screen to see all the text and pictures on the screen yes when we type all the text whatever we have if whatever we want to type so if we want to move up and down if you want to see from top to bottom bottom so what we have to use yes we have scroll wheel on the on the mouse okay we have scroll wheel so using the scroll wheel we can move up and down we can see up and down so next is mouse pointer yes mouse pointer when the mouse is moved when the mouse is moved on the mouse pad a small arrow moves on the screen the arrow will be like that okay so they have shown here yes when we move the mouse we can see the small arrow okay this is called mouse pointer what it is mouse pointer yes it is called mouse pointer i will show you an example yes this is the monitor this is the monitor yes so next is yes what it is exactly keyboard this one cpu box so next is mouse all devices are connected to cpu box so when we move the mouse keep it in mind we have to place the mouse on mouse pad we have to place the mouse on mouse pad okay yes when we move the mouse when we move the mouse so you can see small arrow small arrow on the monitor screen yes this will be like that okay so this is a small arrow then what it is called it is called mouse pointer okay so when we move the mouse we can see small arrow so it is called small arrow is called mouse pointer it is called mouse pointer keep it in mind so next is this arrow is called mouse pointer this arrow is called mouse pointer this arrow helps us understand what the mouse is pointing at for example you can if i here many icons will be there when we move the mouse it will show the mouse pointer will show that which icon i am selecting okay with what i am selecting where i am on the monitor screen so it will understand it will make to understand that where we on the monitor screen what we are exactly selecting yes so here this arrow helps us understand what the mouse is pointing what mouse is pointing what exactly what we are selecting okay exactly what we are selecting it will show that we are on the monitor screen what we are selecting yes so next is correct way of holding mouse yes how how we have to hold the mouse yes exactly how do we have to hold the mouse a mouse should be held under the palm in such way that yes this is a mouse yes we have to hold it has a correct way how to hold the mouse yes see here for a right handed person right handed person so some people will use the right hand some people will use the left hand okay so for a right handed person the index finger should be on the left side index uh, finger should be on the left side the middle finger should be on the right button as shown in figure 5.10 5.10 yes so here 
this is the way how to hold the mouse i will show on the board okay yes the mouse should be on the mouse pad keep it in mind yes yes we have to hold on palm okay under the palm under the palm so now i am right handed person yes i am right handed person so when i am using the mouse my index finger my index finger will be on the left button yes my index finger will be on the left button and my fi middle finger and my middle finger will be on the right button keep it in mind so who is using right hand who is using the right hand the index finger index finger will be on the left button next middle finger will be on the right button so next second for a left handed person those who are using the left hand what will be there for a left handed person the index finger should be on the right button the middle finger should be on the left button as shown in figure 5.11 so here think i am i am left handed person okay i am left handed person what happens here when a left uh, left handed person using the mouse what happens the index finger the index finger will be on the right button and the middle finger the middle finger will be on the left button okay the middle finger will be on the left button so it means who is using the left hand the index finger will be on the left button and middle finger will be on the right button and those who are using right hand those who are using right hand what happens the index finger will be on the right button and the middle finger will be on the what happens left button okay that is the difference so mouse action so mouse action the buttons of mouse make a clicking sound when the they are pressed this action is known as clicking the mouse mouse action when we click on the left button when we click on the right button what happens exactly see here i will make you sound what is the use uh, the sound of mouse see here be silent can you hear this is a mouse sound yes here when we press the mouse button when we press the mouse button what happens it is called clicking okay now i am pressing the left button it is called clicking okay yes left click okay when we click on left click to left click press the left mouse button with the index finger once and release it okay so left click is in the, nothing but we have to uh, place our index finger on left button just you press and release it this is called left click so next is right click to right click if i want to right click what happens press the right right mouse button okay press the right mouse button with middle finger with the middle finger once and release it just you have to press the middle finger on the mouse right button and release it this is called right click okay so double click double click means two times to double click press the left mouse button press the left mouse button twice quickly suddenly quickly okay so just you have to press the left mouse button okay for left hand handed person what happens we have to use index finger on the left button just you have to press twice quickly on left button then it will it is called double click okay so we have learned about mouse in this session just i will recall it 
so here mouse what is the use of mouse we can move on the screen and also mouse pointer when we move the mouse a small arrow move, will move on the screen that is called mouse pointer and also we have learned how to hold a mouse where we have to place the mouse okay and mouse actions we have learned all these concept in the mouse concept okay so in the next class uh, in the next class we will discuss new lesson okay thank you